Hi there everyone. This is really part of the grade 12 syllabus, but grade 11s, you can really try this yourself. You will manage. Uh, before we start, I want you to go to this link here and download the data file so you're able to practice. I'm going to explain SQL to you today, SQL. And for this, we have files that are linked to a database. Don't worry too much about the database. Some of you guys won't have access at home, and that is fine. So just to explain to you what's going on in a database, when I'm referring to a record, that means a row in my database. This is a screenshot of one of the databases that we're going to use. And then when I'm talking about a field, those are these here at the top that you see. And it's very important to spell them correctly when we're writing SQL statements. And then anything inside here I'm going to refer to as a value. So JK Productions is in the this record here. It's a value um, that is the name field of this record. This is a very, very simple query. Don't worry too much about what you see here this is a query i've used it to link the database to your program uh, you can learn later how to link it for your pet but for now all the programs that i've supplied to you will be linked already this first part of the code query text is assigned to will be given to you in the exam as well as query open or some alternatives that I will show you later. And then inside of inverted commas here, we are going to put our SQL statement. So the text property of my SQL is string. So everything I put in here must be string data type. So we use the single inverted commas after the assignment statement. For now, every SQL statement is going to start with a select until we get to the section where we make changes to our database. So every statement is going to start with select. This star here indicates show me all the fields. And a select is followed by a from. And then the name of the table. So this table name here comes from my database. Inside of Access, I have named this table TBL Company. The next example is not going to include the first part of my code, but I'm only going to show you what is going after the assignment statement in inverted commas. So here is an example of me sorting my table according to an email address. So the question will say something like display all the fields, select all, from the table TBL company and sort it according to the email addresses. So after my from is going to go an order, space and by, remember that space, and then the field name that I want to sort according to. By default, order by will sort in ascending order, in other words, from A to Z. If this field after order by was a number data type in my database, it would then sort it from smallest to largest value. I'm also able to sort a field's values in descending order, so reverse order from Z to A or from largest to smallest. And the front bit of the code looks the same, order space by field name and then DESC at the end. It's important to know that SQL is not case sensitive when it comes to the code that you're typing in here. But it's always good to just add your capital letters there. It actually helps you just to read your statement. In the output here, you can see the table was sorted according to the field company ID in reverse order, so from Z to A. We are also able to sort according to two fields. So after my order and buy, I'm first sorting according to renting cost. And then within renting cost, where the values are the same, I'm going to sort the records according to the activity field. So you'll see in the example, everywhere where the renting cost was 500, my activities were sorted in alphabetical order. It is similar to your 
teacher's mark sheet where they have your surnames and names. It's usually sorted according to surname. But then within that, people with the same surname will be sorted according to their name. So Adam Smith will be above Zander Smith. This example here is showing all my fields from the table called TBL Activity, sorting it according to the ticket cost in ascending order. So you will see the smallest number at the top, 5, and then the larger numbers at the bottom. But then, followed by that, is a comma, and I'm sorting then within the ticket cost, I'm sorting according to the company ID, but in descending order. So if we take the example where the ticket cost was 10, you'll see that the company ID here is sorted in descending order. Remember, if we want to sort by two fields, we'll list the first field and then we will separate the first field from the second field using a comma. Now with order by, we can also use the operator function called top. And if I say select top five, all the fields from this table, order by marks, my table will be sorted by marks, starting with the lowest mark at the top. And select top five will show me the top five marks. But it's not the top five as in highest, it's the first five records from the top of my table or my query when I'm executing it. In this example, I'm showing the first ten records from the table learners. But this time, I sorted my marks in descending order. So the biggest marks will be, or the largest marks will be at the top. And I will show my top 10 students. I just want to explain a few things about my activities. You will see that what you see in red here will be given in the programs that I provided you with. Don't worry too much about that. That is how I link the database to the table. Basically, you are going to complete this, these statements here after the assignment statement, and that is what I want you to focus on for now. So for this activity, I want you to open the program. It's in the grade 11 data files. It's in the folder SQL and inside of another folder called Festival. And I want you to try the ascending example first. It's in the menu ascending and see if you get the output below. Press pause. I'll soon show you the memo. Here we go for the menu ascending. All I needed to say is select all the fields from the table TBL activity, order space by, and then the field name activity. And that would sort the table according to the activity names in ascending order from A to Z. I'd like you now to try the next four questions in the menus. A descending two fields and then another two. See that you're getting the right output. If you get the right output, your code is correct. Here are the next two menus that I'd like you to try. I'm just going to explain them to you quickly. I'm not going to show all the memos of these questions. So the register date is a data type of T date time. And these data types actually store a number for a date data type. So when I'm displaying the two oldest companies, I want to sort it in ascending order because I want the smallest value at the top. Day 1 is actually the 1st of January 1900 and from there on one is added to that number for every next day. In the menu most, you had to display the six activity that sold the most tickets. So you would have to use top six here. However, in your output, you're going to see eight records. And the reason for that is that the sixth record, this one, had a value of 200 in the field tickets sold. And the next two records also had the same value. So therefore, it is showing eight records because the records in the sixth, seventh, and eighth position all hold the same value in the field tickets sold. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you soon with some more SQL.